Weed's a hot topic, and we're going to talk about it. I'm Nick. Welcome to All Our Questions, where I search the internet for questions that we all want answers to, and I answer them. Today's question is, why is marijuana illegal? Well, we're going to find out, and we're starting right now. The prohibition of drugs in general dates back over a thousand years when religious lawmakers banned intoxicants. These laws were based on holy texts such as the Quran and the Bible which claim that intoxicating substances which altered the mind are evil. Things got so out of control with people trying to be in control that back in the 1600s the Catholic Church actually called for a ban on coffee calling it the work of the devil and you know I can kind of understand it because if I don't get my coffee. I'm a monster. But um bop. Most of these laws were based on outward effects of drugs on people's personality and actions without an understanding of the chemical effects that drugs can have on the brain. Because they didn't understand the chemical effects that some drugs have on the brain, religious lawmakers basically just blamed the effects of the drugs on evil forces. And you know, if you don't understand something, it's always best to lean on evil forces. In modern times, drug laws have been based on the overall effects on society, an individual's health, and the likelihood of addiction. Cannabis itself has a long history of changing legality, even though it's been one of the most popular recreational drugs since civilization as we know it has been around. Evidence suggests that cannabis was used extensively in the earliest Chinese cultures as well as ancient Egypt and was in a lot of Americans' medicine cupboards up until the 1930s, so why the sudden change? And real quick, because it's a hot topic, let me know in the comments down below if you think that marijuana should be illegal or not. Up until the early 20th century, cannabis was sold legally and openly in America, mostly as the key ingredient in many medicines, in a similar way that weed shops sell medical marijuana these days. After the Mexican Revolution in 1910, a lot of Mexican immigrants moved to the United States, and when they did, they brought with them their tradition of using marijuana as a recreational drug more than a medicinal drug. This caused a problem. Xenophobic views on the immigrants changed perceptions of the drug, and a flurry of anti-marijuana campaigns and propaganda were unleashed on the public. The issue became political, of course, and the promise of a ban was used to win votes. Then, officially in 1937, marijuana was banned at a federal level. Drugs are bad, okay? Much of the world followed the US in banning the substance and it became associated with poverty and criminality. However, this view is rapidly changing and with legal pot sales projected to rake in 5.4 billion US dollars this year, I'm guessing for people who legitimately need it, you can expect the laws to keep relaxing in your favor. The medicinal properties of marijuana are starting to once again be recognized, and while most studies agree that extensive, long-term use or abuse of cannabis can have detrimental effects on the body, a lot of people are questioning the status quo and working very hard to get some drug laws, like the ones against marijuana, relaxed. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button somewhere on this page so you can get more answers to all our questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.